So uh, India and uh, Cambodia have a huge uh, bilateral relationship and the relationship goes back to centuries and millennia. Uh, we have found a uh, lot of cultural similarities also between the two sides. Uh, the latest development uh, that kind of strengthened the bilateral relationship also has been a direct connecting flight that has been launched between the two nations. Uh, and to uh, give us more detail on this latest initiative, I have to talk more on the bilateral uh, aspect of the two countries. Uh, we are joined by Indian Ambassador in Cambodia, uh, Devyani Khobrakri. So welcome to our show, ma'am. And uh, just to begin with, what significance does it uh, have, this, this direct connecting flight that has been launched uh, between the two, two nations? Yeah, Namaskar, Abhishek. Uh... We are uh, indeed very happy that this direct flight has been launched between India and Cambodia. This has been a long-standing effort uh, on both sides. As you're aware, India and Cambodia share a very uh, long and deep relationship. We have um, connections that are going back to our ancient times. And the imprint of uh, Buddhism and Hinduism is very evident in uh, the architectural uh, heritage, as well as in the, the culinary influence and uh, also in uh, textiles and language and so on. So uh, with this uh, direct flight, we will be able to, Indian tourists will be able to uh, come to Cambodia easily. The travel time has been reduced from 16 hours to four and a half hours now, and uh, that it will help our Indians uh, rediscover our ancient uh, civilizational spread in the ASEAN region. And uh, it will also benefit many uh, Cambodian tourists who come to India for uh, pilgrimage purposes. 98% of Cambodians are Buddhists. And uh, I see a rise in medical tourism as well. Many Indian, many Cambodians uh, travel to India for medical tourism because of our efficient and uh, affordable medical services. Uh, apart from that, uh, on a larger picture, it would also bring our extended uh, neighborhood of ASEAN closer to India, which is an important uh, and integral part of our Act East policy uh, that has been um, propagated by our government uh, since 2014. Uh, so this is a feather in our act east uh, policy. We would uh, this would uh, integrate the region, the ASEAN region, much more uh, with uh, India. And uh, of course, our uh, act east policy is based as underpinned by three C's: culture, uh, uh, connectivity, and commerce. And the direct flight will uh, help in enhancing all of these. Uh, Three C's uh, to agree. So, uh, of course, uh, uh, you talked about the cultural heritage uh, that has linked, uh, you know, going back centuries. Uh, we also talked about the connectivity that has been started yet. Uh, let's focus on the commerce part. If you could explain us uh, what is the kind of, uh, you know, trade uh, status uh, or, or the trade that two countries are having, and also the diaspora connect that that is there in current times. Uh, what kind of, uh, you know, uh, what kind of gentries? go to Cambodia with their students and what is the most attractive thing that the Indians uh, should know about going to Cambodia? Uh, you've asked many questions. Starting with the most attractive thing, of course, it would be the Angkor Wat, the, um, the largest Hindu temple complex in the world, which would be very attractive to all Indians. Uh, and They can take pride in our culture mm -hmm. and our, uh, you know, religion mm -hmm. reaching so far. Uh, talking about the commercial connect, uh, yes, uh, we have a trade of around, bilateral trade about uh, 500 million right now, but there is immense potential and uh, the connectivity is one of the, uh, one of the factors which has been preventing uh, further trade. Uh, in Cambodia is a very friendly country, India friendly country. Uh, they consider us as their ancestors, and I'm sure that uh, Indians will find it a very business-friendly place as well. Uh, there are many sectors which are of uh, immense potential, uh, pharmaceuticals, agriculture, mm -hmm. food processing, mm -hmm. uh, also um, vehicles, uh, chemicals, and um, IT services, uh, especially fintech, 
are the requirements uh, of Cambodia, including educational services. So these are the potential areas where Indians can uh, explore. You had uh, also asked me uh, about the diaspora. Of course. Uh, this has been a very, uh, you know, long-standing demand of the diaspora in Cambodia to have a connect, uh, direct flight connectivity. And I'm very happy that uh, uh, guided by our people-centric diplomacy, we have been able to achieve this direct connection, which will help our Indian expats travel to, to their motherland with much more ease now. Okay. Uh, also, uh, I think uh, India and Cambodia, they have been discussing about this uh, transnational QR payment system. Uh, a lot of countries uh, have agreed with that uh, uh, deal with India in the past. We have seen what is the status uh, with India and Cambodia right now? How soon can we see that deal uh, having, uh, you know, seeing the light of the day? That's right. Uh, we have been uh, we have been facilitating the uh, communications uh, between the National Bank of Cambodia and the uh, National Payment Cooperation of India International (NIPIL), and they have successfully signed an MOU in March 2023. And uh, the MOU is about to fructify, and uh, it is in the final stages of negotiation. And soon uh, we will be able to see uh, uh, financial connectivity also between India and Cambodia. We expect that in the coming few months, uh, Indian tourists will be able to pay in Indian rupees through their UPI apps when they travel to Cambodia. And then this will be followed by uh, payment in Khmer QR uh, back at home in India when Cambodians travel there. So we expect this in about a few months, uh, very shortly. Okay, uh, we have seen Indians uh, going uh, in various countries in search of job and op other opportunities. Uh, will you have any message for any Indian who wish to go to Cambodia to find some job opportunities? Yes, uh, this has been a uh, this has been uh, a an an issue. Uh, there have been many uh, all over Southeast Asia, and, and of course, all this is a transnational issue. Uh, there have been many uh, online uh, scams in which Indians. Uh, unfortunately are also uh, involved. We have taken the issue at the highest level uh, with the Cambodian authorities and also strict and stringent, stringent action has been taken at home on um, uh, against fake agents who are recruiting people for these online cyber scams. Uh, and I would uh, request uh, Indians who are looking for uh, jobs to be very careful and only go through authorized agents. Thank you. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, with the latest uh, flight that has been launched and much more interest that we have seen happening in the recent days, we hope that India, Canada, India, Cambodia bilateral ties will uh, have a, uh, more strength in the days to come. Thank you, Mr. Thank you for joining uh, with us and talking uh, about the India-Cambodia bilateral relationship. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.